Today means dandelions, one of my favorite flowers. And here we have a field of them practically. And I'm gonna show you how to make a dandelion chain or a dandelion crown. So first, you pick your dandelion. And you try to get a really long stem. Then you pick the next dandelion and do it again. And make sure you don't go to the end because then you don't have a loop. And that's okay if you do because you can pick another one. Put it through the hole and you keep building your chain. Like this. This one's kind of a short stem. such a fluffy dandelion we have to use it see how pretty they are this is one that I pulled too far <laughs> but it's okay because there were other ones and I can make it into a little bouquet when you have your chain made you can either make it in a necklace or a crown and for a crown you measure and this is about the right size you make sure to start at the base of the last dandelion so you have plenty of space put the flower of the last one in and then you can wear your crown. Ta-da! Happy spring everybody! It's May! This is a book called Dandelion's Dream by Yoko Tanaka and we are able to share it through permission of Candlewick Press. You can tell the story yourself. Hey guys, it's Amy. I thought we could do a drawing of a dandelion. So I'm starting with my pencil. I'm drawing three stems, a tall, a medium, and a small. We're gonna draw the three different stages of the dandelion. And of course I'm drawing some leaves. So the small one's going to be the bud, and the medium one is going to be the flower, the dandelion blossom. And then the tall one is going to be the blow ball, which is the final stage of the dandelion. So I'm gonna go back in with my green marker and color the stems. And I'll color the leaves. The dandelion actually gets its name because of these leaves. It's from a French phrase, dent de lion, which means lion's tooth. And the leaves have these long tooth-like points on them. Dandelion blossoms open each morning and close again each afternoon. And then one day it closes and stays closed for a week or so and then reopens as a blow ball, which is the final stage of the dandelion. So now I'm gonna use my yellow marker to color in the dandelion blossom which is actually made up of many separate flowers. 
and each one of those flowers turns into a pappus with a seed attached to it in the blowball stage of the dandelion. And the pappus is this fluffy part that I'm making now with this ink from the stamp pad on my finger. And that's what allows the seeds to fly through the air and spread. And that's how you draw some dandelions. This is a flip book written and illustrated by Ed Emberley and published by Little Brown and Company. And now for a song. Join me in singing Skip to My Lou. Skip, skip, skip to my loo, skip, skip, skip to my loo, skip, skip, skip to my loo, skip to my loo, my darling. Loo, loo, skip to my loo, 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 skip to my loo, 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 skip to my loo, skip to my loo, my darling. Chickens in the garden, shoo, shoo, shoo. Chickens in the garden, shoo, shoo, shoo. Chickens in the garden, shoo, shoo, shoo. Skip to my loo, my darling. Loo, loo, skip to my loo. Loo, loo, skip to my loo. Loo, loo, skip to my loo. Skip to my loo, my darling. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip to my loo, my darling. Here's another flip book, written and illustrated by Ed Emberley. Chickens Aren't the Only Ones by Ruth Heller. I'm reading an excerpt, which means part of this story, published by Scholastic Inc. Chickens lay the eggs you buy, the eggs you boil or fry or dye or leave alone so you can see what grew inside naturally. Chickens aren't the only ones. Every bird, wild or tame, does the same. The ostrich lays the largest egg, the hummingbird the smallest. Chickens aren't the only ones. Most snakes lay eggs and lizards too, and crocodiles and turtles do, and dinosaurs who are extinct, but they were reptiles too. Frogs and toads and salamanders lay eggs, and when they hatch they're tadpoles who grow legs and climb a lily pad just like their mom and dad. They don't have claws or scaly skins, they are called amphibians. Fish eggs float up to the surface or sink to the bottom of the ocean floor. The octopus is said to shed 100,000 eggs and then to hang them up in strings attached to rocks or caves. The moon snail's eggs are mixed with sand to form this collar looking band. Insects who have six legs and lay many different kinds of eggs. This one will hatch into a hungry caterpillar who will grow and grow and grow and then climb up a stem and change into this, a chrysalis, and change again one summer morn. That's how a butterfly is born.